<clears throat> what's up tribe what's up tribe we are getting ready to get into the things of the things how you guys doing happy tuesday to you we are about to jump in give me a quick second and we are getting ready to jump into it i'm just sharing it out so that everybody know that we are here honey because baby listen oh i got some stuff to say and i am going to drop the link so if you have some two cents that you want to add to this baby i am gonna drop the link okay so let me just let's get through let me get through my commentary and then we are going to uh talk about these things um sorry y'all oh why'd you do that hmm. Okay, so as you guys can see, I did do the gifting. I didn't add the donation on this live, um, but if you want to donate to the breast cancer fundraiser for this month, you can go to the live from yesterday, and you you can just click on it from the live from yesterday, and I'll add it tomorrow, but I wanted to make sure that I did give out the gifting for this month. Um What in the world? I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know why it's okay. All right. Um, it's always something. All right, here we go. Now, I let, let okay, let me start at the beginning and work my way forward, okay? Can y'all hear me good? I know y'all can't see me yet, but y'all can hear me. All right, we already got 100 people in the room. If you guys can go ahead and click that like button. Let me say hi to my people really quickly and congratulate the people who got a membership for this month. Hey, Slot Sylvia, what's up, P? Tracy, Monk Chip Smokes. Hey, Yana, what's up, Harold? Hey, Nico, Rainy Bow. I'm sorry, Rainbow. Amber, Shelly, b -Low, what's going on? Powerful, Sly Sylvia, Black Widow, Vintage. What up, Ibs? Um, Abby, if you want to come up, child, I don't know if you on your way to church or not, but if you want to come up, I'll go ahead and send you the link if you want to come up now. And I'm going to drop the link when I get done going through the story. Hey, Harold, what's up, Abby? I got two Abbies in the room. Hey, King Whitney, what's up, boo? How you doing? I'm going to be in your neck of the woods soon, honey. Hey, Xavier. Miss, what's up, Miss True Kelly? Rachel, hey, hey, hey. What's up, Miss Sharon? What's going on? Jihan, what's going on? Powerful. At first, I thought this was a joke. Baby, me too. Me, listen, I'm going to tell y'all how it went down. Miss Bay thing, Quake Simmons, what's going on? Montrez, Toya, hey, Cindy. Shantia, what's going on? Let me cush. Not dropping a link when I can't participate. I'm sorry, Ebs. Bossy Don Diva. Hey, Sharice, Xavier. C right. Congratulations to Rain, Marnie, Anna, and Meg for becoming members. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Um, did I get everybody? Shanquia, Yana, Amber, Jillian. They in your neck of the woods, Yana. They are in Louisville. Well, outside of Louisville. Hey, Just P. Demita Joe, hey, Nap Queen, Sharon. Child, powerful. We're going to get into all of that. Hey, Stephanie, Angela, what's going on? Hey, Dez. Hey, Deborah, what's going on? Cross, there's a bunch of y'all in here. Let the girls know the tea. What's up, Busy? Busy was up early on this one. I was looking at your video earlier, Busy. DeAndre, hey, 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 Monk Chip. If I'm missing anybody, try to to my head and not my heart. It's going to be T, Whitney. Okay, we got to talk, boo. We got to talk. What's up, wild card? What's up? Hey, hey, hey. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. I got Cross Country Cruiser gifted memberships. Okay, send me the screenshot so I can shout the people out. Thank you, Cross Country Cruiser. Jennifer, hey, 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 hey. Cross Country Cruiser and Mr. Willie Brown, always, always, they quick to um, give some memberships, and I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. Because we know these ladies. Oh, child. Listen, I was shocked too. This story is insanity. It really is crazy. It is really crazy. You had a fraud alert again. Oh, no. 
Yana, you YouTube just don't like you. That's actually Google. It ain't YouTube. It's Google. Mm mm mm. Well, I'm sorry about that. Okay, here I come, y'all. All right. So let's get into this story, people. Let's get into this story. So first of all, let me start at the beginning. Okay, I started following Ray Shonda. Now y'all gonna have to work with me because I keep getting Lil Shonda and Ray Shonda mixed up. Ray Shonda is the one that owns the boutique. Lil Shonda is the minister. So if I get them mixed up, charge it to my head and not my heart. I know who I'm talking about. I'm just trying not to get it mixed up. You're loving the blue. You talking about my shirt? <laughs> thank you. I've worn this shirt a million times, but thank you both. Um, I found Ray Shonda on TikTok. And I found them as a couple on TikTok. And I actually started following them around the time that they got married. I don't remember if they were already married or they were getting ready to get married, but it was around that time. And I have absolutely loved, I follow both of them on TikTok and I've absolutely love, love, love both of them. I think they're hilarious, funny. They have the cutest little skits. Um, you know, Ray Shonda, they are a gay couple. They're LGBTQ. They're a gay couple. Um, Ray Shonda is always, you know, spending the money, um, which is really ironic when we get into the meat and potatoes of this story. But part of their whole, part of their skits was that there were always Amazon packages arriving at the house. And LaShondra was always complaining about all the Amazon packages and that Ray Shonda was spending all the money. She is a Beyonce stan. She is a beehiver. And baby, when that Ivy Park would drop, baby, she got it all. Okay. She got it all. <laughs> okay. But she does own a boutique and she has a story. She's a vet. Um, she has been homeless. She's been, um, her ex-husband was abusive. Her mom gambled away her money and she ended up homeless with her kids. Um, she has one child that I believe is identifies as trans and another daughter that's kind of trying to figure it all out. I, she's not quite sure where she is yet, but she's somewhere between bisexual and gay. Um, and they've been very, very open about sharing their life. Well, open about sharing what they want to share, which is fine, which is fine. I want to be clear, which is fine. Right. Shop um, AIF. Um, and when I was in it, for those of you who guys remember when I took my trip to Louisville a couple of years ago, when I went to go visit my friend that lives in Louisville, I went to the um, boutique. I actually went to the boutique. I told you guys I went. I actually filmed footage and I never put together. I was y'all know I'm bad about trying to splice together blog like 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 vlog type stuff. I, I I shoot footage and I never put it together. So I didn't put it together, but I did go into the boutique. It was hard to find because you know she's changed her, she's moved a couple of times. And when I went to put it in my GPS, it took me, I guess, to their old location. So I had to find the new location, but they were at a really nice mall. Um, and it was nice. It was a really nice boutique. They had plenty of stuff there and you know, she has plus sizes. Um, she started her boutique as an online boutique and she's been able to, um, she's been able to expand, um, and she's become a very, very big content creator. Um, um, the other night when she went live, baby, she had 30,000 people in her live on TikTok. Okay. And when she goes live on a regular basis, she has a rate, she has, numbers right she i mean she ain't had no thirty thousand, but she she has a, a pretty steady um number and she's been able to take that and evolve i've seen her at essence i've seen her at different things um so she's definitely evolving her brand and one of the things that she told us last night on her live was that they were actually supposed to be doing a tv show but it got held up because of the strike so i find that to be very interesting all right, so that is who uh, Ray Shonda is. Now, La Chandra is her wife, well, soon to be ex-wife, and she is a minister. Um, now, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if she became a minister in this process because when I first started following them, I don't remember her going by the title of minister, but she was very much at, she was very active in the church and then she changed her name to minister LaShawn, LaShondra Lockhart so I don't know she just didn't make that her 
name or I'm not sure, but she is a minister. She right. She was just at New York Fashion Week. She was in Atlanta. Like she's definitely doing some great things. Now, when they were getting married, she was on Yes for the Dress. Now, I had pulled clips and then I had to remember because I got excited, y'all. I had pulled all these clips that I was going to show y'all and all these different interviews that I was going to show y'all. And then I had to remember, baby, I'm dealing with YouTube. I ain't about to sit here and show yes for the dress and get my channel flag or I mean get this video flag. I said it's on YouTube. I can I can put I can put the link in the chat and y'all can go and find it. But baby, she was only say yes for the dress. You put her name in and put in yes for the dress, the clip will come up. But I had to remember. <laughs> I had to remember um who I was dealing with around here on these parts. I had to remember I was dealing with YouTube. Child. I was getting excited. And I forgot that YouTube don't be playing them games with me, okay? But it is available. If you if you just type her name in, um, it, it comes up. I remember seeing Ray Chandra walking through, talking to her wedding dress, follow her right after. Right. And I found them, you know, scrolling TikTok during the, um, I think I found them, well, it had to be during the, pan, the Pananorama because that's when I joined TikTok. So somewhere in that, somewhere in that window is when I found them, right? Nene back on YouTube, child. Anyway, that's what she should have been. Moving on. Um, so with that being said, let's get into what went down. Again, so the other day I'm scrolling the ticky talky, and I found a video where Ray Chandra. Now she's a joke, and she's gone viral. You guys have seen her. Um, Busy Blue pulled up one of her um, one of her viral videos. If you are on IG, you have seen her. She's been she's been featured on the Shade Room a million times. Well, I'm exaggerating, but she's been featured on the Shade Room a lot um, with her um, her videos. If you let me show you, let me show you. You've seen them. If you are on the Shade Room, and you scroll through TikTok, you have seen them because um, it's her sitting at sitting right here. One of these videos. All the way down, you're gonna take a sharp left, okay? Up here, past this tree here, okay? Once you get up here, you're gonna take another sharp turn. And over here, this is where you have me fucked up at. Right here in this place. This is the road. She's done multiple videos like that where her sitting there going through and, and explaining, and she's done, she does, she they're funny, they really are funny. So you guys have probably seen her if you've been scrolling through Instagram. And like I said, that has been on. She Those clips have made it to the shade room a couple of times. Um, I've seen her on the shade room um, as a Beyonce stand, you know, with some of her videos with her Ivy Park and stuff like that. So she's gone viral. Oh, this bad one camera. She's gone viral a few times. So you you guys have probably seen her and don't know the story, don't know anything about her wife and their YouTube life, right? Right. She just had um the sleeve put on a couple of uh, a couple of months ago. She I don't I don't know if it was gastric bypass or the sleeve, but she just had weight loss surgery probably It was about maybe 6 months ago now. Maybe about 6 months ago that she had the sleeve put on and she looks good. I mean, she's definitely dropping off the weight. Um, if you see her clip from yes for the dress and then you see her now, you'll definitely see the difference. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, but she's always fabulous though. You know what I'm saying? She's always, oh, it's been a year. Okay. Even longer. It's been a year. Okay. But she's always fabulous. Right. Um, she's one of those people that's always overdressed, right? She shows up always overdressed, but she, she's always fabulous. So, it's funny because I was even going to get Ebb. What's up, Star? I was going to get Ebb to go with me. They they host these um cabin trips, and I was going to see if Ebb wanted to go to one. They host them down in um Tennessee, down by Dollywood in that area. And I was going to see if Ebb wanted to go to one with me. I thought it would be a fun weekend, honey. Okay. So that's who we talking about. So the other day, I was down to the Tiki Taki. I'm scrolling out of my business. And her video pops up. Now, I'm going to show y'all what I saw. If she ain't take it down yet. She probably didn't take it down, child. Let me raise a toast. Okay. Um, she probably didn't take it down. Let me see if I can scroll through, child. Because, you know, 
her channel done blown up. I mean, she was already, like I said, but the channel done blown up. Let me see if I can find the video. Mm -mm, maybe she took it down. Is this it right here? Mm -mm. Nope, that's not it. Boo, 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 do, 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 do. She might have taken it down. Did she take it down? No, here it is right here. Okay, so this, I was scrolling through the Tiki Taki, and this is what I saw. Hey, y'all. So this video is going to be a little different. I have debated on how to say this, when to say it, do I need to say it? Um, but I just have to. With the holidays coming up and you all are already inboxing and commenting, um, things are going to look a little different around here. Uh, me and LaShondra are no longer together. I filed for divorce last week. Um, I'm not going to explain now. I will talk about it when I feel like talking about it. I will leave the comments on as long as they are respectful. Um, our children are going through a lot right now. So I just wanted to get on here to um, let you all know what is going on. The past 30 days has been absolutely wild. Uh, life definitely has been lifing. Um, but I wanted you all to know that I love y'all and thank y'all for the support. Um, this already was not a couple's page, but I know that you are used to seeing her and us um, for the past two years. Um, and we've been together six. So I do not say this lightly. I have thought about it, what I'm going to say, how I'm going to say it. And I'm just, I just got to say it. So I love you all. Have a great weekend. Bye. Now, as somebody who loved them, I kept waiting for her to say psych. I kept waiting for LaShondra to come into the, the screen and say something silly. Like I, I was I was waiting for this to be a skit. I was waiting for this to be a bit. Right? I thought this was a bit. And she never said psych. So I looked at it again. I read some of the comments and the comments were like, girl, you know, they were very encouraging, very positive comments. People were very, like me, shocked and was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like it was very much that. I immediately sent that video to Abby. And Abby was like, girl, no. And I was like, girl, yes. So, you know, me and Ed talked a little bit about it because, you know, we went, because then I went over to LaShondra's page. And baby, LaShondra ain't doing nothing but reading Bible scriptures, okay? She's talking in, in my opinion, she was talking in cold. Like, like no, it was one of those things where if you listen to it without knowing that they had broken up, you wouldn't think nothing of it. But then once I saw that video and I knew that they broke up, right, she did look like she was in my living room, did she? I, went, I was like, wait a minute, what does this mean? What does this mean? So I'm going to just let you hear what I mean by that. I'm going to let you hear one of, and like I said, y'all, I had downloaded all of this stuff, but it's, child, it's just been one of them days. Um, James 1 versus 2. I'm going to let y'all listen to one of the ones that I'm talking about. So this is one she posted on Monday. Trust that God is good even when life is not. Will you trust that God is good even when you are experiencing a setback, a challenge, in whatever area of your life that you may be experiencing it on this day? Will you still trust that God is good? I want you to understand that our response to pain and challenges determines so much about our future. How are you responding to the mayhem in your life? How are you responding to the setbacks and challenges in your life? How are you responding? Will you trust God is good even when life is not? So she was leaving stuff like that, right? And then she posted this other one. Hold on. I got to find this one because this one is going to be real funny once we put it into perspective. Hold on. Let me see. Now, I'm going to tell you, I did notice that she was changing up her content she started because she's a property manager maybe not for long but she's a property manager right now and i started noticing that she was posting a lot more of 
her doing, she was calling her property manager chronicles. And I was like, okay, this is different. And I noticed that I wasn't seeing the Chandra, I mean, Ray Chandra as much. But again, I don't be on TikTok all day, every day like that. And I'll be exploring people's stuff that way. Um, is this the one I'm looking for? Hold on. I think this is the one I'm looking for. Have you ever met someone that just would not tell the truth? Okay. Now, this is one that's going to be very ironic. Now, this was last Wednesday. This was before she announced. This was before Ray Chandra announced that they were separating. So, I'm going to let you hear this one. Have you ever met someone that just would not tell the truth? They would just not tell the truth. They would lie so much and so often that they couldn't keep up with all of the untruths that they said. It's like they had a constant uh, need to make up stories, to please people, and that was the most important thing to them rather than to tell the truth. Maybe that person is you. Maybe at some point in your life you felt it was easier to lie and even more rewarding than being transparent and risking rejection from those people that you want to be close to. Is that you? The truth is that... Baby, we... <laughs> Baby, after we watch this video from last night, that is going to be so ironic, okay? Now, regardless of who you choose to believe, because some of what I'm going to say might surprise y'all when we get into the commentary, but I had to lay the foundation because I did post it on my um, my community wall, and some of y'all did not know who, um, some of y'all did not know who these people were. So, but more, most of you said y'all wanted me to talk about it. So I said, well, I'm gonna come down here and talk about it. Um, but I said, let me lay the foundation for before, because a lot of people still don't know who, who she is. Okay. Now, before I get, I want to thank, um, again, I want to thank Cross Country Cruiser and I believe Tracy. Yes. Let me, um, congratulate Cindy, Bossy Don Diva, Vintage 1970 and Karma Killers. Um, and Lady D for receiving a gifted membership for this month. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, and thank you, Cross Country Cruiser, um, for gifting those. I appreciate you. As always, my love. Okay. What's up, Miss T? Hey, boo. Okay. Now, let's get into... So, last night, listen. I was sitting here minding my business, okay? Watching... What was I watching last night? I don't even know, but I know I was minding my business. Watching the football game. I was sitting here watching a football game and I was minding my business, okay? And Abby sent me a text and said, Ray Chandra lied and she telling it all. And I had to think for a second and I was like, who? Who lied? And who telling it? <laughs> I didn't know it because it didn't it, it didn't immediately click because, you know, me and Abby be doing it all the time. So-and-so live, such and such happening. Are you in so-and-so's chat? Baby, I ain't know. Baby, I got the TikTok. I ran my fat ass over the TikTok so fast, girl. Woo-wee. Now, I only have about 30 minutes of her entire live, but baby, it's enough. It's enough. And I fill in the rest, because it's enough. Now, we're going to start. I, I believe she, because I didn't catch it from the beginning, but I got enough. So hold on, let me pull it up. Y'all and listen, y'all know how we do over here. This is a reaction video. So if you want to hear it played all the way through, it is all over the intranet. Okay. It is on Instagram. It is on Tiki Taki. It is on YouTube. I even uploaded some of the clips on my channel. So if you just got to get the membership, but you're not a little bit green, Jalisa. You could tell everyone was telling their friends she was on live, baby. Because listen, let me tell you something. Like I said, she got up to 40,000 people in that live last night. 40,000 was on that TikTok live last night. Four, zero. Okay, Andre, Kare, Sheila Briscoe, Lady D, Katrina, where at April, um, April Glow 10, we're all gifted memberships. Thank you so much for putting it in the chat because I know I can't see it from here. Yeah, TikTok was the Ray Shonda show today, baby, and LaShonda show today. Yeah. All right. Hey, Colton. Okay. So 
Let me pull it up so we can listen to it, honey, because, baby. Whoo, honey. All right. Okay, yeah. All right, um, okay. All right, can y'all hear it? Let me know if y'all can hear it. I know I, I don't want it. I don't want to show it on the screen. So let me know if y'all can hear it. Uh oh, what I just do? Oh, there it is. Okay. Let me know if y'all can hear it. I'm about to hit the play button now. Sure. If they're gonna let you stay. Okay. Let. Uh oh, what just happened? Uh oh, wait a minute. Listen, this is September six. Okay. The bank. Okay, because y'all hear, okay, y'all can hear. Okay, well, actually, I have another one that starts a little bit earlier than that. Shoot, hold on. The one that I, the, the seven minute one, give me a second. Give me a second. Let me pull up the other one because we can listen to that one first because that one starts a little bit earlier than that. <clears throat> and we'll play that one first and then we'll play the second one. Okay. Cause like I said, I couldn't find. I guess no. I guess none of us caught it from the beginning. Cause I couldn't find where somebody had just the whole video from the very beginning to the very end. But I think we got I, between the two videos. I have thirty-seven minutes, so I think I got enough of it. <laughs> I think I got enough of it. Um. So it'll be enough for us to get the gist of what she was saying. Cause baby, this thing was ugly. All right. Uh, let me see here. Is it a short? Well, seven minutes, it wouldn't be a short. We go on as a video. Okay. Here it is right here. We're going to play the seven minute one. Oh, Lord. Now, you know, that's funny. I got to look at the commercial on my own video. Now, you know, that's just funny. Why keep, oh Lord, okay. Okay, could y'all hear the commercial? Could y'all hear that? Thank you, I'm always in the bushes, even if I'm not in the chat. What the hell? I don't know how I got to Kirk Franklin because I sure didn't ask for Kirk Franklin to come on. I must have hit a button. And it took me to Kirk Franklin. All right, let me get it back. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me get it back. Okay, there it is right there. There it is right there. There it is right there. Okay. Okay. Y'all can hear all of that, though, right? No, y'all can't hear it? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wonder why y'all can't hear it. It's my video, though. Hold on. I know why y'all can't hear it. I know why y'all can't hear it. Give me a second. I apologize. All right. I know why y'all can't hear it. All right. We're going to get it now. All right. I'm still going to cover the screen, even though this is my own video. I'm still going to cover the screen. Okay. Y'all should be able to hear it now. I said, I don't know. We get out. Go get it off the door. Can y'all hear it now? It's a fucking eviction notice. On my front door. August 30th. Do you hear what I said? August 30th. 
No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not lying. Okay, y'all can hear now. Okay. Uh, child, when do we get to the render table? Okay. So this is the this is as close to the beginning of the video as, as I've been able to find. So she's talking about how her and her daughter drove up to the house. And there was an eviction notice on the door. So that's where this video starts. And like I said, this one is seven minutes and then the other one is 30 minutes. And I think they're going to overlap, but I wanted y'all to hear the beginning of it. Okay. All right. I call LaShondra and I say, what the fuck is this on the door? She said, I don't know. It must be a mistake. No, we didn't buy this house. This house is rented. Okay. The house is rented by a black couple and they follow us on social media. So how fucking embarrassing. Now, if you follow them on TikTok, you saw where last year they had to move something. Now I'm starting to question the story that they told us, but it was something the, the, the old landlords, it was something with the other house they were in and they only had like 30 days to find a new house and they found this house and it was really nice. It was a nicer house. It had a pool. It was a, it had a basement. It had more room. And, you know, but now I'm starting to question that story they told us because I thought it was a little funky that they had been renting this house from this place, from this whoever the landlord was. And now all of a sudden they only had 30 days to move. I thought that was a little funky. But who was out of, who was out of question somebody's story? Because, again, you never know what's really going on in people's bank account. But from the outside looking in, I'm like, I don't think they get evicted because they clearly can afford where they live in, you know. But you never know. You never know. Okay. I thought the house. No, they rented it. I knew they were renting the house. I knew they were renting the house. Okay. How embarrassing. Okay. She says, I don't know. It must be a mistake. Same. Listen. Same day. We're leaving. I got two. I got two gigs. I got two gigs in Atlanta that I got to go to Labor Day weekend, right? My stomach is killing me because I can't leave for Atlanta with this fucking eviction notice on the door. We get to Atlanta. I do both of my gigs. Okay. I come back from Atlanta September 5th. I say, have you talked to the people, what is this eviction notice about? She says, I haven't heard from them. Okay, September 5th. September 6th, I get up and get dressed and go to the rental office. I go to Remax office, okay? I had to sit across from this man while he prints off all this stuff and tells me what's been going on for the past 11 months, okay? Because we ain't been in the house a year, okay? So, <sighs> I sent LaShondra the funds on August 15th. I pay my boutique rent on the 1st, I pay my house rent on the 15th, plus late fees, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Now I told y'all, this live might not go the way y'all think it's getting ready to go. OK, I don't have no monkey in this fight, but I try to see things from both perspectives. Y'all know I try to be fair. It sounds to me like you already knew y'all was paying y'all rent late every month. Now, Jillian, you said that she thought they owned it. I never was under the impression that they thought they owned the house. I was always under the impression that that it was rented. I, I was never under the impression that they bought the home. But you might have seen something I didn't see, because like I said, I don't watch. Every, I can't watch everything that everybody put up. So you might have seen something that I didn't see. But baby, let me tell you something. Right, Ray knew the, right. That's what I'm saying. Ray knew the house was rented. But if you're paying your rent every month on the, if you're sending Ray, uh, excuse me, Lashandra, your money every month on the fifteenth plus late fees, that means you know y'all paying y'all rent late. So at the very least, you knew that y'all were paying y'all rent late every month. At the very least, because why would you be including late fees and the money you're giving her if you didn't know y'all was paying late? 
You see what I'm saying? So I, listen, I'm listen. I'm gonna be fair. I'm gonna be fair. But you say you pay your boutique rent on the first, and you were sending Lashandra your half of the rent on the fifteenth plus late fees, which tells me you knew. At the very least, you knew it was late every month. Now, you might not have known it wasn't getting paid, but you knew it was late every month. And that is significantly late. On the 15th, that is significantly late. Okay, Yana says she let LaShondra pay the bills because she was a property manager. I think she paid a late fee included because she paid her half late because of her boutique rent. Right. But I'm just saying if, okay, if she was under the impression that LaShondra was paying the rent one time every month, why would she be including late fees in her half of what she's sending? Like if you, my boo, you, my, my wife, my husband, whatever, my significant other, I, I know you're not charging me late fees. You're paying the rent and I'm giving you my money on the 15th. I'm not sending you late fees. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not sending you late fees because I'm like, again, these are conversations that you had before you move in. And again, I'm not beating up on um on Ray Chandra because I think at the end of the day, I think the I think the brunt of it does fall on La Chandra. But I do have questions. I got questions. Yeah, I know I try to be fair. All right, let me let him, let me let him finish playing, but that the first thing I heard, I said, wait a minute, what? Hey, I sent LaShondra my money August 15th, okay? Not only did she not go online and make the payment, she waited until August 21st to take them a check. August 21st, August 24th, the check bounced. This is the third NSF charge, Okay. Third NSF. So y'all been living in this house almost a year and this woman done wrote three bad checks and you didn't know nothing. Okay. First of all, who the hell still writing checks? But okay, girl. Okay, girl. So the people file, file eviction, right? Because they sick of, they sick of asking for their money. So this is me, September 6th, sitting across from this man in the rental office telling me this, okay? I'm in tears. Why? Because y'all already know my story. I've already been homeless. How am I homeless with money in the bank? So I asked the man, I say, what do you need me to do right now, sir? He said, I need you to pay September rent. I go to the bank. I get $2,700 out the bank. Okay, $2,700 that I just earned in Atlanta. Okay, I take it to them. I take it to the rental office. He says, I'm not sure if they're going to let you stay. Okay. Listen, this is September 6th, okay? That, I had to pay 2000 Um, Brown Mama, that is a good question. So here, here again, y'all, again, I'm just asking questions. I'm just asking questions. I ain't always been where I am today. I'm gonna go tell y'all some of my business. I ain't always been where I am today. Okay. I done paid my rent late. I done paid my rent late to the point where they had already filed in court. Now I never got evicted. It never got there. But what I know is once they file that paperwork with the court, you this you gotta pay all of it. Once it has been filed in the court, and you gotta pay it to the court. Now, I know different states are different. I know different states are different, but you got to pay it to the court. What's up, Raw? How you doing? 
Now you walked up into the rental office and said, what do I need to pay you today? And the man told you, well, you got to at least pay your September rent and the cost. And you went and you took him the cash. Again, I don't know what the state law is down to the Kentucky. But I know in North Carolina, that's that's when I was living in North Carolina. I was a poor college student and I was just doing what I had to do to do what I had to do. Well, I was after I graduated from college, but I was still poor. Um, I know. I know that once they file that paperwork, the rental office can't do nothing. The rental office, matter of fact, the rental office wouldn't even take my money. I had to go down to court and pay it before my name was called. You understand what I'm saying? Once they got to my name on the list, it better have been a zero. Now, once I pay it, I take the receipt to the rental office and they pull the paperwork. Now, that's how I worked in North Carolina. Now, I don't know how I worked in Kentucky. But my second question, and this is what um, Brown Mama said, you can't have it both ways in this conversation. And again, I'm not, I don't want nobody to think I'm blaming Ray Chandra because, again, at the end of the day, when we get to the end of this, I do think that Le- Le Chandra got some shit going on, and I do have some questions for her. But we're just going to go through the story as it is presented. You can't have it both ways. Either your name is on that lease and you should have been looped in whenever something was going on with that property or your name is not on the lease and that landlord had no business talking to you about what was going on with that property. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Right, Daz. We know the, well, we know that Robin Peter to pay Paul, okay? I'm just saying, y'all. Um, Busy Blue said that in his live earlier, him and his partner, their name is on everything. When if an email come um, in regard to anything dealing with their home, if an email go out, it go to both of them because both of their name is on everything when it, as it relates to their house. So you can't have it both ways. In my opinion, either you were out the loop because your name ain't on nothing or your name is on stuffing excuse me, your name was on stuff and you chose to be willfully ignorant of what was going on with the bills. And let me say this. And again, I don't want y'all to, because somebody going to watch this in the replay and be like, you blame me, Ray I'm not. We got a long way to go. But what I am going to say, with your history, ain't no way in hell I would have gave nobody else that much power. You have been homeless because your mother stole your money from you and gambled it away. You have been in a bad marriage that was abusive, that was also had financial issues. Ain't no way in hell. Ain't no way in hell this woman would have that much control over my finances. And she said they never co-mingle bank accounts. That don't mean nothing. It's not about co-mingling bank accounts. She still control whether you had a roof over your head or not. And it ain't no way in hell. No way. I've been homeless. I've slept in my car with my kid. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. What's up, Queen Diva? Right. Y'all say my husband pays everything, but her name is on everything. I make sure he pays everything each month. I don't understand. All right. We're going to listen. We're going to listen a little bit longer. We're going to listen a little bit longer, but I just got questions. Thousand dollar rent and two court costs. Because this was not the first time that they had filed eviction on us. This was not the first time. This is the first time I caught it. But this wasn't the first time. April or May, there was another another NSF, right? So I say to him, I say, sir, could you please include me? Uh Uh-huh. Please include me since I've been left out. Because as you all know, LaShondra's a property manager, right? So the last three houses we Okay, that's the end of that video. So we're going to pick up with the other one, the one that... Now, this one is the longer video. This was the first one I pulled up because I wanted y'all to hear the beginning part. So that's why I went back because I wanted y'all to hear the beginning part. But hold on, let me pull it up. Um... Let me pull up the video again. Okay, hold on. 
let me pull up the um this is the long one it might overlap a little bit it may overlap a little bit but not by much not by much <clears throat> Now Yana say I got his bank account information in my in his head, in my head. <laughs> and I understand that because she said she had to get added to the group chat. I understand maybe not being, you know, in the group chat or what have you, but baby. Uh, 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 uh. All right, let me cover it up. Okay. All right, let me play it again. Let's do it again. Oh, no, that's not what I want. I hit the wrong button. Hit the wrong button. That's not what I wanted. Okay, that's the button I wanted. All right, I'm about to start it again. I get $2,700 out the bank. She's supposed to pay the bills. Okay, listen to me. The man texted me at 9.30 p.m. on Wednesday, September 6th, and said, unfortunately, the $2,700 that you just gave us, the owners still want to move forward with eviction. Now, that's what Miss T. Velocity just said in the chat. Miss T Velocity said, and the, and the owners can still evict you, even if you pay. They can still opt to evict you. And that's exactly what they said. They said, nah, mm -mm. we good. We, we good. Unless you all are out the house by September 30th, <laughs> by September 30th, it's going on your credit report. OK. Speaking of credit report on the way to Atlanta, as you all seen in my videos on the. Oh, baby, we ain't got to the friends yet. Wait till I get to them friends, but we're going to get there. Hold on. Way to Atlanta. She tells me, oh, by the way, I have defaulted on the loan that you co-signed on in 2021. OK. I said, excuse me, you mean the loan that you gaslit me into signing for? Because I don't co-sign for bitches. I don't co-sign. The loan that she co she gaslit you into co-signing for? And what was the loan for? I mean... It ain't my business, but what was the loan for? She never, I never heard her circle back around to that, but I needed more information on the gaslighting. I need to know what she did. How did she gaslight you? I needed to know. I needed to circle back around for that one. Okay. But you, okay, girl. Not for nobody, my children either. I said, so when the last time you made a payment on the loan, LaShondra? She said, May, June. It's fucking September. Okay. Now you're fucking with my credit. Okay. Now you're fucking with my credit. Y'all wanted to know so bad. So that's why we all here. Right. Okay. So. Here we go, me sitting outside my boutique crying at 9.30 at night because this man has told us that we have to move, okay? And then he says, oh, by the way, the sewer bill, sewer and water bill is more than 90 days past due. That balance will have to be paid also. This is in the group chat that I've never been in before. So I say, OMG, do you know what LaShondra put in that group chat, y'all? She simply said, what's past due? Question mark. You heard what the fuck he said. Why would you put that in the doggone group? You heard what he said. 
He said, we got to move out and the water and sewer bill is more than 90 days past due. So I shut down, right? I'm not talking. I ain't talked to her for two days. I still ain't talked to her. So Friday, because y'all need to write these dates down. Friday, September 8th, I'm packing to leave for New York Fashion Week because I get paid to do what the fuck I do. Okay, so I'm going. So I'm packing for New York Fashion Week. Wait a minute. We're going to get to that in a minute, Amber, because I got questions, too, about this money. Because I have to, listen, me and Abby had a whole conversation last night before I went to bed, child. We're going to get there. Wild card, that is a good point. If she was the co-signer, they would have reached out to her before they, well, not before they defaulted on the loan, but they would have attempted to contact her. Because I told y'all back in the day, I used to do car collections. I used to work for Bank of America, which back then it was Nations Bank. When it, I worked there when it was Nations Bank. And then it became Bank of America. It became Bank of America while I was still working there. But neither here nor there. And I was the person that used to call you about your car. When your car got behind, I was that person, that annoying person on the phone. And trust and believe, we called the co-signer. We didn't care if it was your cousin, uncle, mama. We don't care if it was your distance, long lost brother that you talked into doing it. We called them. Not only did we call them, but we also, you know, back in the day when you used to do car, when you used to have to fill out a car application, you don't do it so much now anymore. But you used to have to put references on there. You had to put people on there. Maybe we used to call them people too. If we couldn't get you on the phone. Oh, we called the people because I told you the story about the time I called Babyface because I was uh, collecting for Jermaine Dupree. I didn't know it was Jermaine Dupree at the time because it was his legal name and it was uh, Babyface's legal name. But I, rec I recognized Kenneth Edmonds. I said, Kenneth Edmonds? And he had his place of employment as LaFace Records. I said, LaFace Records? I said, this baby face. And that's what made me go back and say, wait a minute, I think this is Jermaine Dupree. I told y'all that story before. Baby, we would show call everybody name that was on there. Everybody name. So the fact that she didn't get no phone calls in the last five months, and especially now, because y'all know that they don't have nothing, they got you on a roller. They'll call you 10 times a day. They will call you 10 times a day. Okay. See, now y'all with me. Okay. Y'all with me. That's my love. And she lie. is talking about, I don't want to go another day with you mad at me and we not talking. I said, LaShondra, my mama gambled away my money and I ended up homeless. Okay. Living in Louisville, Kentucky. And I didn't speak to my mama for over a year. You want me to speak to you? After 48 hours, less than 48 hours of finding out that we didn't evict it? Are you dumb? I'm not talking to you. So she then, <laughs> when I said, LaShondra, I don't want to talk to you because I'm going to say something that I may regret. Don't you know? That LaShondra then left her ass over into my face, nose to nose, talking about you going to talk to me in my face. You going to get buck at me because I'm mad at you. Do you want to die? OK. Do you want to die? She's like, I'm going to leave before you. I'm going to I'm going to leave because you're talking out of anger. I said, no, I'm not talking out of anger. I will dead, I will put my hands on you. Okay. So that was September 8th. That's the last time that I seen LaShondra face to face. Because not only have you triggered me by now making me homeless again, now you're jumping in my face like my ex-husband. Now I'm gonna have to put you in the ground. Do you understand what I'm saying? So here we are. I leave. I go to New York. I enjoy New York. I'm. So she went to New York Fashion Week. That's what she's talking about when she says she went to New York. On my way back. I'm on my way back from the airport. And her mom calls. You know, trying to figure out what's going on. But the one thing that her mom said to me that shut my whole spirit down. 
she said to me, Rashonda, everybody lies. She says, everybody lies. <clears throat> See, huh. the first time I left LaShondra was December of 2021. I went and stayed in a hotel for a few days. Y'all, y'all got to hear this story. <laughs> y'all got to, if you haven't already heard it, just listen to this. Just, just listen. Because she lied about the dining room table. She told me that her mama gifted us the dining room table in January of 2021. December 2021, I get a knock at my door from Renna Center to repo a fucking table. Y'all, so first of all, she bought a table home. <laughs> She bought a table hall and she lied. She, she lied and said the mama gave her the table. She said the mama gave her the table. But the renaissance of the people came knocking at the door. A table. A table. A table, though. You could have went to Goodwill and bought you a table, uh, uh, LaShondra. You did not have to go to Renaissance and get a damn living room table, or dining room table, whatever. Oh, God. And it shouldn't be funny. You are right. But it, it, oh, God. A table. Now, I'm all over the internet. I'm all over the internet. I could buy 14 fucking tables. But you rented a table and lied about a damn table. Why? Who does that? Insanity. Okay? Insanity. I said, when I came back, LaShondra, if you lie to me again, I'm leaving. Okay? That was 2021. Now, here we are back in 2023. I'm sitting at the airport. The the uh, the rental property, property that she applied for, because we got to move, denied us. Why? Because you fucked up credit, and now you done brought my credit down. Because you just told me that you defaulted on the loan that I co-signed on. So, of course, it's not going to get approved. Okay? <laughs> Listen, I don't know where it is. So, here we go. So, then I call my best friend. Right? I said, best friend, this is what is going on. Okay? She says to me, Oh, b -low, we going to get to the church, baby. Just hold on. Oh, we go. Y'all, when I tell you this gets worse, listen, we going to get to the church. Well, friend, let me tell you, do you know that LaShondra borrowed $1,000 from me and my wife? What? I said, when? When did she borrow $1,000 from my, my best friend? She said, about a month before y'all got married, she said that y'all needed money for finish paying for your dress and some other stuff. I said, my daddy bought my dress. I was on say yes to the dress. Okay? You think they gonna let me walk out of Kleinfeld on them? Huh? They said they thought I knew. They didn't know that I didn't know that she borrowed money from my friends. You did. You just thought it was a gift. Yes. Yeah, she told me that they gifted us $1,000. She did not say that she borrowed $1,000 from my friend. It took her a year and a half to pay them back. 
and they see us out here living our lives and feeling some type of way because my wife owes them money and I don't know it. So that's the first story about the friend. Her best friend, LaShondra, borrowed $1,000 from the best friends before the wedding, alleging that she need the money to pay back. To, get, to help pay for the wedding. Miss T Velocity, I said the same thing. And we're going to get to that because that's my question is where's the money? Because, baby, listen, when we get to the end of this story, there is thousands on top of thousands of dollars that's unaccounted for. And either this girl is a gambler or she a drug addict because I don't know what else you do with that kind of money. But let's go. Oh, we, oh, oh we get, oh, it's in more. Okay. So now... Now I'm livid. Mm. Now I'm livid. I say, I'm going to lay down. I'm going to lay down. Okay. The next day I get up, I go to the boutique. I'm talking to my friend Ashley at the boutique. I'm telling her, bitch, I'm about to be homeless again. Mm. And all the other shit that I found out. And you know what she says to me? She says, well, friend. I said, well, friend, what? LaShondra owes me money from June. I say, what? She said she owes me money from June. I said, for what? She says, when her pastor, when her bishop came down, they stayed at the Airbnb upstairs above the boutique. Uh oh, it froze up. Hold on. So then I get on the phone and I call LaShondra's bishop and I say, hey, my friend Ashley says her and her husband hasn't been paid from Airbnb saying y'all came down. She, hung, she said, let me send you the screenshot. She hung the phone up. She hung the phone up and sent me the screenshot. They sent LaShondra that money June 26th. All right. The, the recording got a little messed up, so let me go back a little bit. Um, Who was it in the chat? I'm sorry. I didn't see who said it in the chat. But somebody in the chat brought, a, um, brought up a point, a good point. If you thought that your, friend, your best friend and their spouse gifted you $1,000 for your wedding, at no point in time, did you thank her? You didn't send a thank you card when you were writing out your wedding thank yous. That's your best friend. You ain't say, friend, girl, you ain't have to do that. A thousand dollars, that's just too much. You ain't say that to your best friend. That was never a conversation. And then that last part that kind of got a little messed up. <clears throat> She said that the bishop sent her the screenshot showing that they sent LaShondra the money for the Airbnb in June. So LaShondra allegedly got that money in June. And we are now in September. Well, we're really in October because this was last night. But we are in September. And she never gave that money to the, the lady who owned the Airbnb. So now this is the second friend. Oh, it, again. So this is the second friend that is now telling her after the shit didn't hit the fan. Oh, yeah, LaShondra owe me money, too. Oh, yeah, LaShondra owe me money, too. Oh, yeah, LaSondra, LaShondra owe me money, too. I'm going to let it play. Okay. June 26th. So if you sent the money June 26th, then why has my friend Ashley been paid for every visa? Where's the fucking money? I said, what, Morris? He said, oh, yeah, for the past year. So you I hope the rest of the recording don't sound like that. Hold on, y'all. Don't tell me y'all think that LaShondra is going to go to the ATM machine or anywhere and withdraw that money, get a money order, and run it through the system. Because she can't run it through it as herself because she works there. But it's the fact that you're accepting about my child that it brought tears. My child. Mm -hmm. in my house. This last thing. And told her to send me an invoice so that we can pay you. August 28th. All right. It sounds like the rest of the video sounds like that. So let me just kind of tell you a little bit about what's going on. So the next thing she talks about is... Um, Shoot, now I'm not getting paid for the Airbnb. So then she talks about the next thing that she talks about is um, she did some work for um, 
somebody, um, another company that that's a friend of theirs. She did some promotion for them and they reached out to the LaShondra Lash about paying for the, you know, sending some money to Ray for the promotion work. Once again, the money went to LaShondra. Ray never saw the money, never knew, didn't know anything about the money because she was really doing it as a favor and these people were paying her. That was my understanding. That was my understanding. Hold on, let me go back because I hate the fact that it's got that noise in it now. Hold on. My friend Ashley says her and her husband hasn't been paid here. So y'all tell me y'all think that LaShondra is going to go to the ATM machine or anywhere and withdraw that money, get a money order, and run it through the system. Because she can't run it through it as herself because she works there. But it's the fact that you're accepting. Oh, that's the other part. That's the other part. So she, so LaShondra is a property manager. She, and this is what I was saying earlier about her maybe, um, maybe getting ready to lose her job. Okay. Because I'll try to refresh it raw. Um, her brother, Ray's brother, lives in the property that race that LaShondra manages. And what she said is that her brother has been cash apping LaShondra his part of the rent. But the rent ain't being paid. So whatever he gets on section eight, whatever the difference is, he's been sending it to her, but it ain't been getting to where it need to get to. But she's the property manager. So he was paying her thinking, you're the I'm sending it the money in. Let me try to refresh it. Ross said refresh the video. Hold on, let me try to refresh this video. I think that's in the recording though, uh Raw. Um, but let me try, let me try refreshing. Let me try refreshing. Let me see if that helps. I think whoever was doing the screen record probably got a phone call. When that vid when the video paused, they probably got a phone call. Because that's happened to me before. You're screen recording and you get a phone call and you think that the, the recording, because you decline the call and you think that the recording keeps going and it doesn't. Because that's happened to me before. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. But we almost, we're almost at the end. Um, that's not coming up at all. And, you know, my uh, internet be on that, you know, crack too. So let me see. Looks like it picked up. Let me see. Has been cashed out of his rent for the past twelve months. Does he? Be asking me for money, my child, my child. Me, I was twenty-eight. They reached out to her and to pay me, and she sent me the screenshots. And, and the screenshot said who she was before me. You didn't have a passport. Okay, so now she's just kind of going off into that. She really feels like. Um, that um busy sent me a better video busy you emailed it to me or where'd you send it to me raw you sent me an ig link where it's clear okay I was, okay hold on everybody send it thank you thank you thank you everybody thank you but if it's on ig it's gonna be on my phone hold on hold on hold on thank you thank you everybody thank you everybody Okay, I got it raw. Accepting it. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay. Is this it right here? The volume is not. Shoot. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. The volume is not working on this video. Hold on. Why is the volume not working? Well, 
Why is the volume not working? Hold on. It's all over TikTok. I can find it. Just give me a second. Just use the Twitter link. But again, it's I, okay. Child. Hold on. Because my. All right. It must be my phone. Hold on, y'all. Because I think it's trying to connect to my ear pods. Because the volume is not coming up on this one either. Give me a second. I'm sorry, y'all. I apologize for technical difficulty. Give me a second. Let me try to um let me put my ear pods up. Because I think my phone keeps trying to connect to my ear pods. Oh, sorry, y'all. Technical difficulties. Cause the video now the video's not playing the sound, and I that that, that must be my phone. So I think it's trying to connect to my AirPods. So I gotta put my AirPods in the case. All right. Let me see if that works now. Let's see. Why is it not? Now this is the video that you sent me. Uh, hold on. I said I don't know. Okay, here it is. We get out. Go get it off the door. Fucking embarrassing. How embarrassing? I got two gigs. I got two gigs in Atlanta that I got to go to. Busy, this video is, this video is what I already played. It's in the record, right? It's in the recording. All right, it's almost over though, y'all. The video is almost over. Um, she goes on to just talk about um how she felt, you know, that when she met Rashonda, she didn't have nothing. That Rashonda didn't even have a passport. But then they get into the church, and here's where it gets interesting. Okay, I apologize for. The uh oh the BET awards are on tonight. Shout out them. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do the BET hip hop awards. I can't do it. Um so I I, I am gonna let y'all hear that because I did have that. And then it got even uglier earlier today on TikTok child. It, it's been a mess. It's been a whole mess today. It's been a whole mess today. Um So listen to this. Because she lied about the dining room table. She told me that her mama gifted us. Mm -mm, that's the, the wrong room clip, table. child. That's the wrong clip. Where's the clip about her going to jail? Is this it right here? And two court calls. Because this was not the first. So I got all these videos. Anyway. Ray says she's not talking about it no more. She don't need to. She really don't. There's nothing else to talk about. So let me just tell y'all this last part. Forget it. Let me tell y'all this last part because I remember what it was. Because child, I ain't got. I'll be here all night because I said I was gonna drop the link. So I'm still gonna drop the link and give y'all the chance to come up. I'm gonna drop the link in a second. Um, but Rayshonda is a minister, right? With her church. So I mean, La Chandra. So Ray Chandra said that. When they were at convocation down in Atlanta this summer, a minister from or a bishop from a church in California said something to their current bishop and told the current bishop, you may not want to let LaShondra handle the money. Because she stole money from us. So, Rayshondra was like, I'm sorry, say that again? Because she stole money from us. Oh. So, a church all the way in California 
she done stole money from the church in California. Oh, it gets worse. Allegedly, all this is allegedly. This is based on what Ray Chandra said. I don't know these people, okay? It is all alleged, okay? Okay. <laughs> allegedly, okay? So Ray Chandra said that she went to go visit their old pastor. They was that she was at an event at the church they used to go to. And she told him what was going on with, you know, what, what this is after everything has been, this is like last week or, or so. And she told him what was going on. And he said, you know, there were three different occasions where I had to speak to LaShondra about money while she was here. And then he went on to say, she better she needs to be careful or she's going to end up back in jail rachel just said back ba back back in jail she said she never knew the woman had been to jail now you've been married to this woman you have been together for six years and it never came up in conversation that she had been in jail for fraud for fraud y'all today there was a ticky tocky live today. And a woman came up there and dropped the tea that LaShondra been cheating all up and through the apartments that she manages. That she done slept around with three, four, five tenants up in there. Now, here's what I do find interesting. Here's what I do find interesting. I'm going I'm to turn the volume down because what she's saying ain't important to the point that I'm trying to make. Uh, what she's saying ain't important. What does that allow? I want to just show y'all something. Now, this is a live that she posted. Uh-uh. Hold up. So back in July, um, I went to convocation. You get to hear some good to pre so back and in here's, July, um, she's talking about going to convocation. Um in Atlanta, Georgia. So and they you know were happens when you go to they were at convocation in Georgia. But there's a video she posted. So this is another one she posted on Saturday. To treat people the way you want to be treated. But in that, sometimes you open yourself up to be used, to be mistreated, for people not to respect you, to pe for people to feel like they can take your weakness, uh, your, your kindness for weakness. Um, and that's not the case. I want you to understand today that you, yes, you are supposed to treat people the way that you want to be treated. Yes, you are supposed to love. Let me tell y'all something about a teenage boy. Now, this is what she posted on Sunday. And again, I'm going to turn the volume down because the volume don't even matter. I just want y'all to see if y'all see what I see. woman to move into a whole apartment now ray chandra over on the other side talking about how they can't get approved for to move nowhere and this woman got an apartment and she didn't already moved in what's up j-dub now 
Ray Chandra said that her mama probably co-signed for the apartment and that's probably how she got in there. But my point is, she got a whole apartment. She didn't move into a whole nother dwelling. And this is what she posted today. <laughs> After LaShondra did that live last night, baby, this is what she posted today. I mean, Ray Chandra. Baby, this is what she posted today. I'm going to let y'all hear what she posted. <laughs> James 1, verses 2 through 4 say this. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. It comes a time in our life as Christians, as people of God, that we will face adversity. And I've come to this place in my life where I understand that even in adversity, I need to be grateful. Because that is an opportunity for us to grow. That is an opportunity for us to, to gain perseverance and develop a closer relationship with God. Yeah. No, those aren't the apartments that she managed. No, those are regular apartments. That's not where she that's not where she works. Now, I'm gonna say this. Somebody said it earlier in the chat that there was a running, I'm going to drop the link right now. There was a running joke on their on their TikToks about how cheap LaShondra was, right? She went to Walmart. She bought generic brand stuff. Like she was the cheap one. What's up another round? She was the cheap one. And all I'm going to say is this. I believe that there's money unaccounted for. I believe that 100%. I do. I believe that 100%. I don't know if this woman has some, some sort of an addiction. And I ain't putting nothing on her, y'all. I just, I got questions. I don't know if she got some sort of an addiction. Gambling, drugs, whatever. Because the money going somewhere. I believe that money's missing. Like, I don't believe that. She's, I don't believe that Ray Shonda is making up these lies. I don't believe she's making up lies about the rent not being paid and bills not being paid. Like, I don't believe that she's lying about that, right? I do think that, I do think, how do I say this? I, I feel like she wasn't as diligent as she could have been in asking the right questions especially for somebody who's been through these things, right? According to her, she's been through these things. What's up, Ra? Hey, lady, how you doing today? I'm good, how are you? How are you? Let me take this off the screen. I'm doing well, trying to adjust my camera. Ma'am, thank you for sharing this story today because this story gathered in my whole life this is some of the most toxic, messy. And now you're telling me she didn't been messing with everybody in the complex. That That's money. What they saying. That's what they say, child. She was tricking with the friend's money, honey. She didn't pay somebody else. For it. <laughs> Listen, she she just took the money. She bought money from all of the friends. Oh, I forgot that part of the story. Now the hairdresser said that she done bought money from her. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a lie. That's a lie. I, I, miss, I misspoke. I misspoke. I misspoke. The hairdresser, Ray Chandra's hairdresser, she said this has been her hairdresser for years, told her, oh, well, before y'all got married, before y'all got married, a woman reached out to me once she said, when you posted her on your social media, a woman reached out to me and told me that Ray Chandra ruined her life. But I didn't tell you because I didn't believe it. Let me tell you how I would have whooped her ass. Let me, you my hairdresser slash friend, and you sitting here telling me that somebody reached out to you before I married this woman and said that she ruined my life. 
and you didn't even tell me, you didn't even give me the benefit of the conversation. Let me tell you how to whoop that, that woman's tail. And I could see if we were just dating. Okay, fine. We were just dating. Fine. But once you saw it getting serious and you saw that we were getting ready to get married, I wish the hell you would. I mean, honestly, I question everybody around Ray because how is all this money going out? Everybody's holding on to these bitter feelings and ain't nobody say nothing to her. I don't know. Maybe I have too much of a personal attachment to my money, especially $1,000. I would have had to call Ray like, listen here. I love you. Okay. You owe me some money. <laughs> right. A year and a half? Uh, it sounds like the past. The it past? Sounds like Ken, it sounds like the past. All the friends, the 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 wife, it, they all sound in on it. Because why is everybody going through LaShondria? They all got raised number, but they all going through the Chandria. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. The other thing, and um, the person that exposed it today, one of the former tenants came up on the TikTok and she exposed it. But you know what else she said after she was like, LaShondra was sleeping around and LaShondra was doing this. She, she accused her of all kinds of stuff. But you know what she also said? She said, I reached out to you and I inboxed you. So people have reached out to, allegedly, people have reached out to Ray to tell Ray that LaShondra had some ish going on. But you was in love. You was caught up. Mm. Now, according to this woman, because she said, I screamed. No, she said, I reached out to you, but you never responded. So... If 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 this uh, if the story is true about the hairdresser, if this woman reached out to the hairdresser, you don't think the woman reached out to her, Ray directly or her she, or her social media? Well, this is the thing when you have a lot of followers on social media. I don't know about you, but I don't always answer messages that go into the request box. That's so true. She, she might go in her request box and see a whole bunch of stuff now, but she wasn't on the lookout for it. I don't maybe. Right. maybe. That's true. I mean, and again, because I don't always see stuff that go into my request. You're right. And I ain't even I ain't even got her kind of social media. So I can understand that. Powerful, you dropped off. Come back up, babe. Come back up. Um, I don't know if your phone disconnected, but come on back up. Yeah, I, I y'all, I, I hate to see it because I really like I said, I really did like them as a couple. But I just got questions. I just think it's a lot to this story. I just think people got to be careful who they make couple goals because what we have mm -hmm. seen is everybody couple goals within the next couple years, honey. Couple goals turn into couple nightmares, honey. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're right. We never know what's going on behind closed doors. Hey, Papa, what you want to say, my love? Okay, so I, I, I I'm, I'm so confused. I'm so <laughs> confused because this is the thing. Now I, I noticed okay. somebody else put in the chat. I. It, my husband pays all the bills. He gives me the money to pay the bills. But I give him receipts to show that everything has been paid. I don't understand how you're in a household and y'all splitting everything and you're sending her your half and you don't want to know or see documents that the stuff was paid. That's the stuff I don't understand. I'm, I'm confused about that. And then she was saying that they were they have been in the apartment for 11 months and they were behind but i know like i live in new york in new york you get three months behind they're giving you eviction because these people in here be getting evictions all the time <laughs> they're giving you an eviction notice mm -hmm. after three months not no 11 months no. and if you said and if you said that this thing with the late rent issue eviction happened before why did you even let why didn't you then say okay let me get on this and keep up with this first because one. this is making no sense mm -hmm. well she didn't say that rent was 11 months behind she said they was 11 they only been there for 11 months not a whole year she said That's that table mind. though that table was 11 months behind so the lady went to rent a center got the table and then she ain't never paid for it Right. And that's another that thing. Okay. Seconds. She lied and told you that the mother gifted the table. Then you found out that the table came from Renaissance. That's fine. 
But when you, when you, again, this is a second thing. You found out that she got the table from rent center She didn't pay for it. When does the light bulb go off? When they telling you, you got to leave now that, and, and we're not hearing. And, and the thing of it is we're really only hearing one side of the story. Right. True. Now, do I, I believe some of it? I don't believe, but because I want to hear the other side of the story. And, mm -hmm. and, and my thing is, I am so tired of people bringing their trash to the internet. It is crazy. I mean, we nosy. We want to know these things. That's fine. But it's getting, it, it's really getting out of hand because LaShondra is not saying anything. So she's not. To we to believe. It makes sense right. Are we y to believe Ray Chandra? Because LaShondra ain't saying anything. And Rashandra saying, oh, her kids are going through it. I know she got two daughters and a son. And LaShondra only have the son. So, I, I, I mean, at what point does the light bulb go off? And for Rashandra, what kind of friends do she have? <laughs> <laughs> These friends? With friends like this, boy, I'd rather have be friendless. Because now everybody's saying stuff to you. If I borrow money from one of my husband's friends, oh, you best to believe they're going to let him know. Not years later. They're going to let him know right then and there. And if she borrowed money from one of your friends before the wedding, it didn't put off a light bulb in your friend's head to say, well, let me find out what's going on. Maybe they don't need to be spending all this money for a wedding if they can't afford it. Mm -hmm. And everybody's coming to her telling her that she that all this stuff was going on afterwards. That that's where I have I have I have the problem. She she got the eviction notice. They went to. Atlanta. Then they went to 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 Fashion Week. Now I remember when they went to Atlanta because that's when they were doing the um when they was uh inducting all the ministers and it was Spanish ministers, white ministers, black ministers, all female in they were they were um ordaining them. And I remember that. But I I I don't uh, just, I'm having a hard time with this because it's just one sided. I will say this. Um, I agree that we're only getting one side and LaShondra has been, she's definitely taking the high road um, for whatever her reason. Maybe she doesn't have a rebuttal. Maybe she doesn't want to try it in the court of public opinion. Um, I can agree with you about, because I think that this is my opinion. I think that Ray Chandra allowed her anger to allow her anger and allow the fans to egg her into this because Lush Chandra comes off really sweet and really, you know, she's a minister and she's so sweet and all of that. And I think a lot of people were in her, you know, were in her comments and was defending Lush Chandra. And I think that upset her because she was like, y'all don't even know what's really going on. And I think between the two, she allowed that to Make push her, her yeah. into putting it out there. Because she definitely, I mean, she aired it out. I mean, like I said, this was last night. She had 40,000 people in that live. I mean, That's we insane. all, and I'm, I'm counting myself as one of them 40. We was all nosy and we all wanted to hear it. But I, I was there. Think, I right, mean, right. Look how popular she is. Everybody want to exactly. know her business. No shade. Exactly. But I do think she allowed public opinion to dictate her reaction. That's my opinion. Oh, for sure. Um. Hello, beautiful people. How are we doing today? Hey, Angela. What's up? Hey, love? Angela. Hello. Hello. I'm going to do this real no, quick. I love, I, say, my... love, I love saying your name. Angela. I, love hearing, hey. I love hearing you say it like that. Honestly, I do. <laughs> um, I love, For real, I really love it. Um, But I'm going to do this quick because I got food cooking. But um, there are a couple things for me that are just a little stand out. For me, um, I have been homeless before. It was only for like three months because there was a flood in my town. The apartment I was going to get got flooded so I couldn't move in there and there was nowhere else for me to go. So I had to figure something out. But I had to sleep on couches for three months. Um ever since then there is one thing that I will have for the rest of my life comfortably. And that's at least in my name. Mm. You will never catch me 
for the rest of my life not have a lease in my name because I went through that for three months, never again. That was uncomfortable, scared. I'm a girl. You know, I know I, I know what the picture looked like. I'm a drag queen. So in my real life, I'm a grown ass man. That is very uncomfortable to have nowhere to hide, Tracy, to have nowhere to live. So, of course she is. Um, so for me, it is hard to understand how this woman who her whole story is I was homeless because of my mother is not in control of or on the paperwork for her living situation. Like, that's crazy to me. So it not to say I want to just go back and rethink a lot of things, but as somebody who's been through that on a minor scale, I now have to wonder, you lived in a place, you was homeless, and you let this lady run everything in your name ain't on nothing? I, I have to question that because after I've been through it, there ain't no way all that paperwork happening without my name on No way. I don't care where I go, who I'm with. I can have a husband with $50 million a year. I don't care. I do not care. Speak not on care. it. My name will be on everything. You will not make me homeless. It, it ain't no way. Also, I think um, the wife has a secret bank account um, that she is not sharing because that money has to go somewhere. Um, somewhere. So unless she is, unless she is, you know, uh, ingesting it, um, spending it at the casinos, or handing it out to charity somewhere, it's somewhere because it's not that the people were paid late, the people weren't paid. So that money has to be somewhere and I think she got an account somewhere. But with that, I'm gonna leave y'all so I don't burn this food. Love y'all. Love you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Yes, ma'am. we got a whole panel going over here for about another 20 minutes, okay? Ooh. I'm gonna drop the link one more time. Shantia, you have the floor, my love. Hi, how are everyone? So I wanted to get into these friends of hers. Like, what kind of friends are these? Because how is it that y'all allow this woman to come to y'all a month before it was time for them to get married? And you not even have the, the gall as a friend to pick your phone up and call your best friend and, 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 and ask her? Or how do you not know what your friend is lacking? if you're her best friend like that that's a little sketchy to me like she need to be questioning these friends motives like why would y'all wait this long you you knew before a month before my wedding that this happened and you waited to say something then you as my hairdresser you 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 see me come sit in your chair often and you still not say anything to me either like I don't like that. I don't I don't like these these friends that's in her corner who be like, oh well, yeah, well, she owe me money. Why are you doing that? Because now you're putting yourself in a position to have some type of feelings towards your friend for what her wife did when she doesn't even know half of this stuff is going on. And I feel like that's wrong. Maybe she do know, maybe she don't know, but still, I still feel like her friends should have said something. Yeah, like I said, if those are my friends, like don't don't come to me when the shit didn't hit the fan six years later and tell me all the stuff that's been happening. And like literally, you tell me somebody came to you before my wedding and warned you about me. I mean, warned and told you, listen, this woman ruined my life. She she I think the woman said she ended up having to file bankruptcy. I'm sorry. You didn't feel like that was an important thing to tell me when we exactly. were just dating. Exactly. I, um, please somebody in the back. Hold on a second, y'all. I don't um whoever this is in the back. I don't know if you're a troll. I don't know if you're really a person, but I really am not gonna bring you up um with that with that name and that picture because I feel like you're a troll. If you're somebody that I actually know and you're just trying to be funny, you need to put something in the private chat. But I don't I don't I don't recognize the name. I don't know who this is, and I'm that's I'm just I'm just careful about who I bring up. So I don't know who that is in the background. If you backstage, I'm not even gonna say the name out loud, but you need to you need to try again. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I am gonna I dropped the link. I'm um give if anybody else last call for alcohol, if anybody else wants to come up and get their two cents. And again, you know, I know some people are saying ain't no other side to this story, and da da da. There is that doesn't mean that it's a good side, that doesn't mean that it's a believable side. But there's always there are different sides. There's more than one side to the story, and really, big Cassandra side. 
let me let me say this. You mean to tell me that you've been with this woman for six years and none of this? You didn't sit down and talk to her. You didn't try to find out what she did in her past life. You didn't do your own little investigation. Yeah, it's like six years. You mean to tell me six years? They ain't just got together this year. Right. Y'all been been together together for for six six years. years. Yeah, they've been together for six years. And you never knew she went to jail. Like that, 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 that's something. You can Google that. Well, you know, they they've been Googling. They can't find it. They can't find it because she changed her name. Oh, you know, oh, oh, okay. Oh, well, then that explains it. Oh. That explains it. It does. But you know what else is real sketchy, too? I don't know if y'all caught it. But in the video, she was saying how she paid her boutique rent on the 1st and she paid her apartment rent on the 15th. The 15th is late. We talked but about you it. You know girl. what I took that we as? I took that as maybe, maybe she was banking on LaShondria taking care of all the bills that was due for their household, and she'll pay her back after pay her half, you know, pay her back since it was coming late. Like, I don't know. Like, it's I'm not paying my husband late fees. Like, if he paid the rent on the first. Or the mortgage on the first because I had to pay my booth rent or my my boutique rent and I have to pay him my half of the rent two weeks late. I'm not giving him late fees. Yeah, you know, the late like, fees, why am I paying my husband late fees? I thought the late fees were for the after the eviction started. No, no, no. She said that she would pay every month on the 15th her half of the mortgage plus, I mean, her half of the rent plus late fees. So that tells me that you were cognizant that the rent was being paid late every month. Now, that don't mean that you were cognizant of the rent not being paid at all or bad checks being written, but you were cognizant that the rent was being late. That's how I read it. Now, I her, po- her portion of I the agree. rent, her portion of the rent was late because she was paying her boutique fee, then paying her rent. The rent is due on the 1st, so... That's why she was paying late fees because she was late with her portion. Right. But what I'm saying is, but listen, I I mean, I'm not saying listen like that. I hear what you're saying. But what I'm saying is, again, there's no differentiation. I've had, I've had roommates where we've cut the rent in half. If we, if one late, both late. If the full rent is paid, it's late. No, that is true. You paid your half. And it's irresponsible if you've already been homeless before if you've been homeless before and you're terrified of being homeless again one thing you're not finna do is pay nothing before you pay that rent you hustle hard you know what i'm saying there might be a month or two where you got to be working 80 hour weeks so you make sure that you have the boutique rent and the rent rent for the first of the month you're not right. going to ever put yourself when you in a detriment yeah right. and i did like how she kept saying too that um she gas lit you into taking to co-signing the loan alone you don't co-sign for no b if you don't co-sign then you wouldn't the co-sign thank you so you benefited from whatever money that she possibly got too you know so I'm confused what that means. Like, what, how you gaslight somebody? Yes. Into a, a loan. She never, so, now, now, I have not. She never. She never circled back to that because I don't know how you gaslight somebody into into like, uh, her name and then to said, give you to sign a, a, um, a, a, a get a loan. I don't know how you gaslight. And again, so, again, there's so many layers to that because if it was a leg, if it was a legitimate loan, and I'm, I'm what I mean by legitimate loan, I mean it went through a bank or you got it through a credit card or something like that, then they would have called you if your name was on it. Somebody Correct. would have at least attempted, at least attempted to contact you if your name was on it. Um and I they, don't I don't understand the gaslight part. And again they I would have put theory. maybe she guilted her into it. Maybe she you know put it on her one night and then rolled over and was like baby I need I need some help. Like I get that. I get all of that. I get all of that. Or maybe um, she could have put they would have also contact her either to not contact the co-signer. She could do that too. Oh no, no they're they gonna be, contact. No, they're gonna contact them. They're gonna oh, contact. Well, the no, they, they and, can't do that. And, up, and, and, and also information. Also, they will too, put a lien on your account. Yeah, you so can't. you will contact them. 
And you can't give wrong information to a co-signer because they run your credit report. So they got exactly. the information. But my biggest thing is you your claim to fame is and 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 when when I first started following them, that's that's all Rashonda used to say. I was homeless, I was homeless with my two kids when I left my ex-husband, da 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 da. And for a person that was homeless, there's no way on God on this earth that I would allow anyone to have control like that, knowing that due to cause of someone else before I was homeless, that is my biggest fear, being homeless. And I've never been homeless, but that is my biggest fear, is being homeless. There's no way in the world that I would allow somebody to say to me, oh, I'll pay it, I'll pay it, yeah, okay. And, and when you pay it, let me see the receipts. Let me see the receipts. That's the part I'm just not understanding. I, I listen. I that's what I'm saying. Like I have a lot of sympathy for Ray, and I know it doesn't sound like I do, but I can't help the fact that I'm a critical thinker and I just break stuff down. I, I just I'm just not that person. Do I ultimately feel like I, I have a lot of empathy for Ray Shonda? I do. Do I ultimately feel like if I had to, if I had to lean towards do I believe her story? I do. I believe her story, but I also think that she is conveniently, and I think people do this because I think we all do it. I mean, when I say all of us, I can't speak for every person in the world, but a lot of us do this. We tell the story, and even though there are parts of the story where maybe we fell short, we will we will omit that because we don't want people to feel like, well, you should have done this, you should have done that. But it's easy to say, listen, I, I had questions, but I was in love and I just kind of let it go. Or, you know, I did have some concerns, but I didn't know that was you, ma'am. I honestly didn't know that was you. I ain't know somebody was trying to porn bomb me or something, child. I wasn't playing them games. That was me. <laughs> Mim got to cut it out. That's what happens when you be trolling. That's what happens when you be trolling. I, didn't, I, I kicked him out and everything. Um, Bat, what were you going to say, my love? And Mims, come on back up, child. Oh, I was just gonna say that clip that you played at the beginning with the um the wife of Lashandra one, uh-huh. where she was like, "Is you? You can't tell the truth, and you're always hiding the truth and telling lies." It yeah, just I'm keeps bad. playing back to me throughout this whole lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's clear that somebody lied. Somebody but did you catch how she was whispering with it though? She was whispering right like, in her little quiet so voice. Somebody, didn't want somebody to hear her. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, let's be clear. The accusations that have come out, that woman's about to lose her job. Hey, and she, really she might need to. Her. Right. Well, she may need to because Rayshonda talking about something. You need to pay me and I want my money and blah, blah, blah. But she's about to lose her job. So she ain't about to pay you nothing. She ain't got no money. Is she owe money to everybody oh, from the couch? Oh, sorry. I said, mm-hmm. now they're about to start going over the books at the church. Right. Believe that. <laughs> but is she all money to, to everybody from California to Atlanta? She ain't paying nobody back nothing. That she money gone. Money what is she hiding the money for? What's she stealing all this money for? But, but that's that's she got saying. another family, Xavier. But that's what I'm saying. It's something, because it sounds like, if, if these accusations are true, it sounds like she's been doing this a long time. And I don't know where the money is going. Does oh, I mean, make sure you have a secret family, child. What's up, Mims? Really, Mims? <laughs> that's, why, listen, that's why I didn't bring him up. Because I thought it was somebody trolling me. <laughs> Not Monique with the big boy drawings. Uh, I know where the money's going based on the look of that wife. She didn't put all that money in Home Depot. Ooh. The strip club. Ooh. Not Home Depot and the strip club. My God. <laughs> Sponsoring somebody? Right. Is no, it? she looks like she spends her weekends at Home Depot. I think really what it is is she's banking. Rashonda is banking. She's doing influencing. She's doing. She has her own boutique. And I think what happens is I think her girl or her wife would be more of the, you know, I don't want to stud. Man. The man of you know, like the more masculine, and 
I think that she wanted to put money in her hands, so it felt like she was doing something. I.e., Wendy Williams with like her Apollo. Uh, like who? Apollo. Well, no, Apollo was like really stealing from other people in conjunction <laughs> with Phaedra, allegedly. But no, like Wendy Williams, right? She took a minor street thug, somebody who was selling dime sacks, and made him her manager, similar to Monique, similar to Whitney Houston, once Bobby Brown didn't really have a career. Mary J. Mary J. Well, I think Kendu was managing people. He initially. was, yeah, he was, yeah. He was but you, you guys get what I'm saying, though. I think right. that it does, you know, take some of the masculine role if I'm paying all the bills and I'm the face of this. So she would put her non-funny wife in these skits and stuff like that and be like, okay, well, you pay the bills and stuff like that. But what got me was she said that she was the one that, you know, really involved her in church. How do you go from being a person who's not involved in church at all to somebody that the church is comfortable with comfortable with you having their money and in if six years well i do know that the church that they used to go to was a smaller church and it was a um it was like a, a pro lgbtqia church so you know that might have had something to do with it i don't know because you know a, when, you know these smaller churches you know you got one person doing five jobs you know what i'm saying she might have been able to slide on in there you know but then how did how was she able to scam the church in california then if she wasn't involved yeah in i don't know i listen i don't know that just she just said that the bishop told her but that was also a lgbtq like convocation so again it could who knows they she must have done that bishop really too. wrong though <laughs> listen, well, my, thing, my thing if if that's what if if that's what she did to that church in california and that bishop knows that why do you wait now to say something why didn't you say something to the church and if if you're saying that she changed her name from whatever she had a different name in California now with it at now she she now has has another name. I'm gonna start calling her Nesto. That's her <laughs> new name. <laughs> right. uh, this is my you know thing. That's when a they... good point. Powerful, that's a good point. Because again, you can't have it both ways. Either the woman changed her name, because here's the thing. Them, now, as far as the woman in California, she may not have known that LaShondra, especially if she changed her name, she may not have known this was the same person until she saw her in person and was like, wait a minute. So I'm going to give them that. But if she did change her name, then why would, would, wouldn't the bishop have said, oh, I knew her by a different name? Exactly. Or, or I know her by this name, and that is her actual name that I knew her as. But let me say this, and and uh, and not to put nobody on the spot, but I know there are people on this panel that definitely know how to do background research on people. I'm going to just leave it at that. If you're married to somebody, you got their social security number. You know how hard, you might be able to change your name. You know how hard it is to change your social security number? You can't. You can't do it. You can't trust them. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So even if she changed her name, that woman, you, you ain't been married to this woman for six years and don't know her social. I'm sorry. And even if you don't know it, you know how to get access to it. You know how to find some sort of paperwork with her. So y'all didn't y'all apply for loans together. According to you, you you signed for you a gotta home put loan? your so you gotta put your social and all that down when you're filing absolutely. for a marriage certificate. Absolute work or, or marriage certificate, absolutely. So so my thing is she may have changed her name, but if you really want to know, um, I'm not talking about before, I'm saying now. If you really didn't know that woman had served time in jail and you really want to do the background and you really want to know now guess what you can you can certainly and i'm not saying she needs to share with us because i think she shared enough mm -hmm. but you definitely can find it let me tell y'all this quick story before we get ready to get out of here I'm maybe she was maybe words. she was dickmatized she clearly was. was oh okay but she was something oh, you know this out. Can't hear the sound, yeah. little baby. Please can't hear that fan over here, Miss Robbie, because I don't know what Mims is doing here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I told y'all before. My mama told me a long time ago. She said, "If she said if your father ever go down to the bank and try to sign something, he gonna get arrested, because they know my signature. My they know my version of his signature more than they know his signature at the bank." Mm. <laughs> so let me say this. I'm gonna tell you this is a true story. Then, like I said, I'm gonna give everybody a final word. Um, I had a friend once upon a time. Um, a man friend? 
No, ma'am. No. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, I had a friend and she started dating this guy. And they had been dating for a while. We had all hung out together. We, you know, we'd had fun. We had done things, hung out together, whatever. I knew who he was. He knew who I was. And she went out of town one weekend. So he called me and was like, hey, he said, do you have a key to so-and-so's house? And I said, no, I don't have a key. And he said, man, I left my wallet. She gone for the weekend and I don't have my wallet. And I was like, damn, I said, well, and she was out of town with her mother. I said, the only person that I know would have a key is probably her mom. I was like, and she with her mother, so I don't know. And so he was like, well, you know, I hate to ask, but you think, you know, you got a few dollars you can float me until she gives. Because she was only gone for the weekend. This was Saturday. He was, She was coming back um, Monday. He was like, I don't have no, you know, I can't. And this was, this was, this was like 15 years ago, y'all. So this was before Apple Pay and all of that, right? So I was like, all right. I said, I'll meet you at such and such and such. I, you know, I drive. I, and I, if y'all, I ain't get, I gave that man $50. Because I said, that's enough for your gas tank. You know, wherever you're going, that's enough to put some money in your gas tank and give you a few dollars in your pocket. She only gone for another 24 hours, whatever. The man never, that boy, that man never paid me back my money. And I didn't say anything at first. I didn't say anything at first because I was like, it's just $50. It's no big deal. But then found out he did it to another friend so i immediately and it was a very uncomfortable conversation but i immediately told her because i was like look he just did it to another friend he did it to me and this literally happened like within a span of a couple of weeks right and she was embarrassed she gave me my money back i don't know if he ever gave her the money back and then Fast forward, she stayed with him. She dated him for, they stayed together for a couple of years. But fast forward, he was a crackhead. The man was, and I mean, I don't mean it in a funny way. I mean, he literally was addicted. He was on crack. And by the time their relationship was over, he had robbed her ass blind. Stole all her shit. So my thing is, I would have, even though she stayed with him and, and she didn't see a red flag, I couldn't sit on it. And that was only $50. I wish I would give somebody $1,000. And I don't say nothing. I wish somebody would reach out to me and tell me, oh, your friend is dating somebody and they ruined my life. Ain't nowhere in the world I would sit on that. Now, that just ain't the kind of friend I am, y'all. Mm -mm. I'm going to start with Raw and I'm going to work my way around. Well, actually, I'm going to start with Lil Baby because you just came up here. Lil Baby, what you got to add, boo? What I have to add is I have not heard much of this story. I don't even know who these people are. But this is sounding like two people were in on a con and now they can't con no more. And one is trying to distance themselves from the other. That's what it sounded like to me. Because uh -oh. this don't make no sense on her end with a lot of stuff. Mm. I, mm. I could be very wrong because, again, I don't know these people. <laughs> right, I don't know them either. <laughs> but it's it's it sounding like that to me because one because the rent situation you paying on the first and the fifteenth like that makes no sense. We all know four days after you get up to four days after day one to pay, and after that you're looking at a possible eviction. Ain't no first it again on the 15th. That's not how that work. Number two, like you all said with the friend thing. My friend, if I'm being told by my spouse that my friend has gifted me $1,000, of course, I'm going to my friend like, listen, this is nice and all, but y'all didn't have to do that. Like, we don't need this. This is a lot. Y'all did not have to give me no $1,000. I appreciate it. But this is a whole lot. But you not having, you never bringing that up to your friend and your friend never bringing that up to you. Some flaw. It's too much flawness going on. And then as others have said, um, in, in terms of this individual being um, homeless at one point, I can imagine after being at a very low point in my life, and never wanting to go back there again, I am definitely going to put provisionals in place to see to it that that never, ever, ever 
happens to me again. I'm definitely going to have a very strong hand in my financials. So to just turn it all over to someone and you already know how they, op you know how rent work is due on the first. Why is there 15 in this? It make no sense. But Oh, Cali girl said they were just talking about setting up for Halloween last week. Because that's the other thing. If you don't follow them, that's the other thing you probably don't know. Powerful, that's the link for Powerful because she got kicked off. Um, They have this whole running joke also on their channel where LaShondra likes to decorate. And people have been, people send them decorations. I mean, if you can see the pictures from their lawn from last Halloween and last Christmas and New Year's and Easter and people send them these inflatables and send them all these decorations. So, wow, I didn't realize they were talking about it just last week, child. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, um, Ray, final word, my love. I mean, I said Ray, I mean Raw, my bad. <laughs> raw. <laughs> my You're bad. Okay. That's all right. Listen, we've been talking about Ray all day, honey. I'm right, I was, <laughs> No, I think this story is crazy. I don't think that Ray is going to stop talking about this. My question was, if she's doing something funny with federal funding, why not report her? If these churches are saying she's stealing from the church, why not call the police and press a charge? Like, these are things that have the math not mathing, and I'm confused because I don't, I don't really know what's happening. I, especially if I'm a bishop... And I'm a shepherd of a church, and another bishop tell me you steal. God said, "Thou shalt not steal." I'm calling the police. Child. It's fraud if you taking a brother's money on cash app. How are you paying the rent? Is he a homeless too? Because she never did really expound upon that. What is the point of even introducing that portion of the story if we're not gonna flesh that out? Spare the rod and spoil the stud. That's what they. Right. Ma'am, oh Lord, ma'am, <laughs> going time out. Ma'am, somebody in the chat said that you need to take me out on a date. So the next time I see you, I expect that to happen. Mm. And don't bring them big draws either. No <laughs> big draws. <laughs> Xavier, final word, my love. I just want to say that for all who are married. Be aware, 2023 is the year of divorces. We thought 2021 was worse, but this is truly the year of divorces. And also, it is the year of the POAS scammer, because we didn't open the year with Latasha scamming. Now we end it with LaShondria scamming. <laughs> What's going yes. on with all y'all la la scamming? What's going on? And yes. where is the money going? Like, I personally believe that she's that it's another woman and i feel like she's been planning to be with this other woman for a very long time because she because mm. lashandria moved out doesn't seem to have no problem finding somewhere to live she still has her job and you were you've she found a way to somehow keep them in the house for 11 months while not paying rent well, like she was saying that she was woman. just paying it late. Listen, let me tell you something. As somebody that used to be broke and used to play all the games, I'm just going to go ahead and tell on myself. I played all the games, okay? You, you can play the game. You know how much, listen, I knew exactly how much time I had from, I knew I could, I knew I, I before the fifth, I wasn't late. I knew how much time I had between the fifth and when they filed the, the, the paperwork. I knew if I wrote a check back in them days, you wrote a check and you knew you had a certain amount. You had about 24 to 48 hours to get that money in the bank. Listen, I knew all the games. I'm just going to go ahead and call a thing a thing. And so and she probably does too. Right. That's what I'm saying. But it wasn't that she wasn't paying the rent at all. She was just playing. She was a court. I mean, allegedly, you know, she was playing, you know, but this, but uh, this is thousands upon thousands of dollars. That's gone missing. Now she, she's been using that money for something. Now, I don't think she's a crackhead because she doesn't give that type of tea. <laughs> she, she seems cognizant a lot. Um, and I don't think she has like a gambling addiction. I don't feel like, I feel like Ray would spot that of all things. Yeah, because if she had a gambling addiction, she would be, I mean, she would have a lot of unaccounted for hours where she would be in uh, in the damn casino, yeah. Yeah. 
And I just think that I think it's another woman. And I think that other woman is in one of those apartments. Ooh. No, Ray said last night on that live that she does not have a prenup. And I said, ooh, you in trouble. Especially if you were the breadwinner, maybe you might be in trouble. Y'all been married for six that's years. Why she, have a prenup. That's why she brought up the um the brother thing. She's trying to get her to go to jail before she has to pay this lady half. Mm. Mm-mm. Mims, well, final word, final shady word, I should say. I don't know anybody's surprised. Ernest, Ernesto and uh, Shirley wasn't paying rent nowhere and was living in mansions. They so, were. They was living in mansions, honey. Yeah. I mean, Rose but Royce were they the really married? <laughs> no, but... The Rose Royce is in the driveway, child. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. This isn't new. I'm just surprised that Rashonda would be smart enough to, you know, develop her own business and make herself a brand and would, would go the Wendy Williams route. Just giving the money to the other person to make them feel big. Mm -hmm. So I hope the best for her. I love her. I use her clips in my videos all the time. Um, I might even meet her soon. So I'll give y'all some tea. <laughs> I tried to meet her when I went to um, Louisville, but she wasn't in the store that day. I met her daughter. The daughter that's in all her video, that's in a lot of her videos. Um, I met her daughter, but I she wasn't the one LaShondria was talking about. Denacia. Yeah. Yeah, mm. she was there. She was there. But LaShondra wasn't there. I was mad. I really wanted to meet LaShondra. I was like, I, it was one of those things where I was like, I really only came down here to meet LaShondra. <laughs> I'll give you, I'll give you a status update Sunday. Okay. Sunday. Did you did you tell me when you were gonna be Sunday? No, I'm saying I'm I'm <laughs> Oh, you're going to give me a status update of the situation. Got you, got you, got you. You know, I'm a little slow sometimes. Back, final word, my love. Um, I don't really have a final word because I think that uh, Xavier and Ra and Lil Baby kind of said everything that I was thinking. No problem. Especially Lil Baby because right, it all sounds funny. Y'all know how Lil Baby do, child. <laughs> Y'all know how Lil Baby come through. And Lil Baby, you see that November is about to be a firecracker, right? For what? Baby, November, we have we got the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills dropping at the end of this month. We have Married to Medicine, Real Housewives of Potomac, Real Housewives of Miami all dropping. Are you serious? In November. Yes. We and we have Roni Legacy. We, we got the trailer. We got the trailer for Beverly Hills today. We're supposed to get the trailer for Miami next week. And all of that is dropping between October the 25th and November the 5th, I think. All of that is dropping. Child, I'm just trying to gear yeah, up. November, for... like, October is a little dry, but November is about to be fire. Okay, sorry, y'all. That was a little housekeeping. <laughs> and yes, November is Abby, my love's birthday. Yes, it is. All right, uh, Shantia, you're going to have our final word. I'm sorry, Powerful is going to have the final word. Shantia? I just want to say the jig is up. Mm. And ain't going to be no more for nobody to leech off of if that's what she was doing. And yeah, this is this was a lot of tea. This this was a lot. Yeah, it was. Oh, oh when, baby, when I tell you I was watching that live, listen, if, if I didn't have to go to work this morning, baby, I'd have went live last night. I promise. I was you. at work when I saw all of this, and I was like, man, I was so mad because my phone wasn't getting enough good service for me to click the link so I could listen. I was like, God dang mm -hmm. it. Baby, you y'all have got one of them good old 1130 at night lives, baby, last night because, baby, my mouth was hanging open. And you're right, Callie, and that's why, Callie, girl, you're right, and that's why I say all of this is alleged and that's why I had questions. I definitely, she said that, you know, LaShondra works for a housing property um, and we're believing the word of a, of a, of a, of a spouse, of an angry spouse. I'm saying that, um, and I agree with you. I agree with you. And that's why I'm, I'm saying I was very critical of some, I got questions. Maybe I had questions. I just want to know where all this alleged money went, child. I just want to know where all the alleged money went, child. Powerful, you've been, you've been, you've been lighting it up all night. Give us your final word, my love. Okay. I want to hear the other the other half of the story, and I want some real receipts. Because all yes. we're hearing is what for and what is and what have and what was, and we have no receipts. You have this one said that, this one said that, that person said that, she was in jail, 
You don't know her real name? Because that would have been my question to that person. Well, what was she in jail under? I don't hey, know. It's, it's, and and uh, you, we were only getting one side of the story. And that that's that's why I have a hard time believing. And LaShondra's not coming back at her like, oh, you're lying, da 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 LaShondra has her own apartment. I'm sure her and her son are in that apartment. Yeah, he is. He's in the apartment with her. Because that's what that live that I showed, she was yeah. talking about her son. Mm -hmm. So why is it that she has an apartment and you were in an apartment that, you, I mean, in that house that you're now getting evicted from? Were you all separated because everything blew up? And you didn't go and get an apartment or get somewhere to stay because you thought you was going to be able to stay there. And she just left. So we really need to have we it, it, it's the thing. We really need to know the other half of the story. But what I think she should have done is what she done originally. She got on. She said. Things are going to be different during the holiday. Me and LaShondra are not together anymore. I'm not going to tell the story now. Da, 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 da. She should have left it just like that. But like you said, she allowed her, her um, supporters, her viewers to, to coax her into doing all of what she's doing now. And it makes her look bad because she's the only one talking. And LaShondra has not said anything against her. Oh, you know, I thought I thought the reason why LaSha why Rashonda went on this Tarrant was because I thought LaShonda had made a comment or something like that. So, she has said nothing. Oh, okay. So I mean, she's been just doing those like those videos I showed you where she's you know quoting scripture and she's I think she's talking you know she's talking but she's not talking. And I it's did on her end of her video. She was like, um. She felt like LaShonda sought her out, looked her up, and purposely, you know, got Yeah, she her. said she felt like that. She felt like, she said that she now feels like this was a scam from the beginning. She feels like that LaShondra, basically, she feels like LaShondra sought her out. And because she saw that, you know, she was gaining some notoriety on social media and stuff like that. She lived locally. And she said that, and again, I can't tell somebody how to feel, but I don't know enough of their story for me to be like, oh, you know, but I can't tell that woman how to feel. But that's what she said. She said she feels like she she feels like it was a setup from the beginning. Do we know when when the Chandra went to jail? We don't know. Listen, the jail thing. I ain't know nothing about the jail thing. That that that. It that, had to that, be. It had to been before they got together because if if y'all been together and she went to jail within them six years. Oh no, it was definitely before they got together. Oh, yeah. I'm about to say because if she ain't know that and they've been together within them six years, I'm about to say hello, Sher um, Sher Strawberry. <laughs> is that number two? Mm -hmm. All I know is this: even if she felt that way, like I feel when you're a public figure and you're an influencer, you have to be way more selective about who you entertain and who you allow in your space. Yeah. So she wasn't, again, as we see throughout this whole story, she wasn't on top of her own stuff. She wasn't watching her own back. And people have to stop being so gullible and naive. Love don't always live in the same house that you do. Stop leaving yourself Ooh. vulnerable to an attack. Yeah, that's why LaShonda was able to move out and get her another place. Her love didn't live there in the same. Mm -hmm. Or she moved in with the girlfriend who already. And had we this. don't even we don't even know how long they've been separated. Well, no, Two she weeks. said this. Well, that's happened. what I'm saying. This they couldn't have been that long. This all happened within the last thirty days because this is September's rent. She said, "Yeah, she said she said this all started on August the 29th when she rolled up and had an eviction notice on her door." Then why are they planning this Halloween all in the last month? You know, some people be hopeful to the bitter end. The 30th only was four days ago. Okay. <laughs> True. Shut up, Mark. We got to keep that in perspective. Like, For real. <laughs> Well, I want to thank everybody for coming up. I want to thank everybody in the chat. If you didn't hit the like button, please hit it now. If you are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We have a good time over here, you guys. We have been here for two hours and 15 minutes. So I, 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 haven't even eaten, I haven't even eaten dinner. 
Okay, so I'm about to get off of here. I'm about to go watch the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City and see what they talking about while I eat my dinner. I want to thank y'all for being here. Listen, Raw um, Raw B Privilege is also a content creator. If you guys, y'all make sure y'all check her out. Um, can one of my mods drop her a link in the chat, please? Um, and y'all make sure y'all check her out. And I want to thank all of you guys for coming up and hanging out with me tonight. Thank, Thank you for, for having, having me. Okay, good, good night. night. Good night. Bye, good everybody. Night. Nice to meet y'all. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ugh.